Hey guys, it's Crows here. In today's video, I'll be doing a part two for the level guide. I'll be covering how to level up in the second C. If you have not checked out part one yet, make sure to go check that out. It covers the first C. Also, make sure to check out the Discord in the description for giveaways and such, and the active community. And yeah, so let's get started. All right, so first off, we'll be starting in the Rose Kingdom. You will be spawning over here once you come to the second C. So just make your uh, way over to this area one quest giver and get the raider quest so raiders um you could get them right away they'll be spawning four over here and four over there uh, just do this quest to level 725 and then you have the mercenary quest this quest uh just do it to level 750 and then you got the diamond boss the diamond boss you will be server hopping to level 850 bosses obviously will be taking longer as it takes time to spawn so make sure to server hop and the boss is just over here okay so do this boss to level 850 all right so once you made your way over here for the next quest you'll be doing you'll be doing this quest to level 925 it will be the jeremy quest Jeremy quest is over here. Alright, so you're gonna be doing Jeremy boss to level 925, and then you're gonna go to the next island for the next boss, which is Fajita and that green zone over there. So the next quest is over here boss who we doing is Vegeta. It can drop this gravity king so if you want to try to get this drop it's a really good sword for PvP. I personally use it as a main. And yeah, so you'll be doing a Vegeta boss to level a thousand. And after once you're level a thousand you'll be heading over to the graveyard which is over there. Okay, so once you are at the graveyard, you will talk to the NPC and you're going to be skipping the zombie quest. Make sure to skip it, it's not worth it, you're going to be going straight to the vampire quest. And the vampires are in this cave right here, and you will be doing this quest to level 1050, so it's only 50 levels. And once you finish this quest, you will be going to Snow Island, which is right behind So once you reach Snow Island, cross the bridge and you can go set your spawn if you want and then go do the quest. You will again be skipping, skipping the first one and going straight to the Winter Warriors. And the Winter Warriors are over on this side and you will be doing them to level 1100. And then once you are level 1100, you will be going to Hot and Cold Island which is right over there. Okay, so once you do reach this island, uh, just ignore the hot uh, part of the island for now. Go straight to the cold part. The quest giver is right over there. You can also go set your spawn point right over there if you would like to. For this island, you will not be skipping any quests. Go straight to this quest. You did them to level 1125. Then you will do the next one, which you do to level 1050. Then you server hop the smoke admiral to level 1250. The Smoke Admiral boss is right over here. Fairly easy boss, does give a lot of cash and XP. So I really recommend this boss. Fairly easy boss. And then after you do finish this, you will go to the Cursed Ship, which is right over there. Once you're through a sh uh, cursed ship, just go through the store and you will be able to go inside. Set your spawn point if you'd like. And then for the first quest you should do, you should do the deck ship deckhand, which are 
these people right here and you'll be doing this quest to level 1300 then okay so for the next quest just head over here and then you will have a quest person right here and you will be skipping this one don't the ship officer do the ship steward steward and then do this quest level to level 1400 and then once you do finish this quest just exit the great uh, ship right like just like that and then you will be going all the way to the other side of the map that little castle over there for the ice admiral Okay, so once you do reach um, Ice Castle, you go set your spawn point here, and then the quest guy is right here. Just skip these two quests and go straight to the Ice Admiral. The Ice Admiral is right here. You will be doing this quest to level 1450. The boss does have Awakened Ice. It drops two things, Library Key and Hidden Key. Library Key can unlock this for Death Step, and Hidden Key can unlock Rengoku. And then once you're level 1450, you are going to go to the final island, which is the Forgotten Island, which is right over there. Okay, so once you do reach the Forgotten Island, just make your way up. You can go set your spawn point, and then you can get a quest. So you will be skipping the Sea Soldier quest and going straight to the Water Fighter quest. The Water Fighters are right over here, and you will be in this quest level 1475. And then make your way for the final quest, which is a Tide Keeper boss. Tide Keeper boss, you will be doing to level 1500. Tide Keeper is at the, all the way at the back of the island. Right there, it's a decently easy boss. Spawns a Sea Beast and has Dragon Trident. After you finish that boss, you will be finished the third, second sea. Alright, so if you did enjoy watching and this, really, this video did help you, make sure to subscribe and like. Join the Discord in the bio and stay tuned for part 3.